Okay, guys, here's an ochre chicken room I tried showing you guys last night. Now, it's kind of dark as I first show it to you again, but of course, we have all of our ducks, chickens. And we got the lonesome goose, she's all by himself, ain't you? Thank you. Gong gong. Gong gong. Gong gong. He likes being petted. Yeah, he likes being petted, even though he's a friendly goose. Gong gong. Gong gong. Gong gong. Gong gong. Gong gong. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Ah, uh, comes all the ducks over here, come eat them from feed. Now, this is not a Medicaid chick start. Got this feeder right here, plumb full of it. It's supposed to hold 10 pounds worth. It's meant for cat food, but we put chick start in it. And I filled this bowl up so I'll have extra. Oh, uh, we got some chickens. Got game hens in here right there. There's a game hen right there. That's a game hen. There's two or three of them right there's one. Oh, that's what they're about half growing, but I have one up here sitting. That there also is a game hen. She was in here where we went to go build the room, so it's left her alone. We stuck up here in this nesting box so she can sit. Hopefully hatch us out some biddies. As you can see, she's definitely Yeah, she's mad. Hopefully we're alone. But all our chickens and stuff in here and such is doing pretty good so far. Hey young goosey. Hey young goosey. I'm going to eat you some food now. Now, it's hard to believe how big this guy's gotten already. You guys can go back to some of our early videos and go our very first ever baby goose. Thanks to Ty Love. And you guys can see this guy when he's hatched out and just how big he is now. Now, I'll show you guys what a fully grown one looks like. I'll probably do it after I get out of here. He has an African goose. I'm pretty sure he is. That's all we have here. We have African geese and white Chinese geese. That's all we have here. But he's going to turn out to be an African goose. We have all these ducks. I ain't quite for sure what kind they are yet. Pretty sure they're Peking ducks. But we got them from Tractor Supply and they just had them as a sort of duck, so we bought them. We went there and bought some the first time for six something a piece. Then we went back and they had a the price dropped on for like three twenty something a piece. So we bought, I think, in all we got like 25 of them. Let me count them real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 24. Yeah, we got 25 of them all together. Because one of them we had to keep in the house because you're not supposed to give ducks medicated feed. So I don't know if they're giving medicated feed or what. I'm pretty sure they were because you can see a couple of these ducks like how their legs are bulged over like that one. Medicaid feed will do that, but we have one that... In the house, we had to keep in the house because they found medicated feet. It's so bad he can't really stand up. Like he just has to walk around with like his knees. That's why you do not give ducks medicated feet, as you can see. You can kind of see how they're like hobbling around because they were given medicated feet. It, it kind of messed up their joints. So that's why we have non-medicated feet. That's why I said non-medicated feet in all of these. Now chickens, they're okay to have medicated feet, but we put non-medicated in because the ducks and they'll do geese the exact same way. But you can kind of see how that goose's legs are like straight looking. You look at the ducks, how they're like kind of bulged over. Now the ducks' legs are supposed to look like the geese's legs, if that tells you anything. So I made a little of a mistake right there, but just letting you guys know so you guys don't make the same mistake. Do not give your ducks or geese Medicaid chick start. I always make sure you give them non medicated. If it says Medicaid on it, do not get it for ducks or geese, chickens, and stuff like that, yeah. Like ducks and geese and stuff like that, do not give them medicated feed. Of course, that's non medicated feed. Got a little bit left in the bowl, but get this feeder over here plumb full of it. But, they're all doing pretty good in this room so far. It's changed a lot. Up there's all the bannies we got. Got three bannies up there. They were sitting right there, and we took everything out here so we can dig down and put the metal and sheet metal and stuff in. Now, one of the main reasons we have sheet metal in here is to keep the chickens and stuff from getting out. Because before, there was big old gap stuff the chickens and stuff could get out. Now, the reason we're keeping all these guys in a building and not outside is, just like I said in before videos, we have a coyote, fox, and raccoon problems. They all come here and get what they want, basically. They get them some free supper. 
Because we had a chicken out here not too long ago that had three bitties and she him a got killed by a coyote. This is at night time. We even heard a coyote grab it, but we never seen it. Now, coyote grabbed him, mommy took off with it. We was out there for about an hour or so looking for all the bitties. We finally found all three of them. Uh, I would show you guys the bees, but I'm not quite for sure which ones they are. But they're in a bigger cage we have outside. Or inside the barn, about outside this room. But, yeah, what are you doing? Can you get me some food. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am for all this one. Like being padded. Not gone. But, like I said, I got grabbed by Coyote, sadly, and Coyote got out of the meal. Now, chickens are piling up back here, dusting themselves. A couple of Domineckers, and I'm not quite for sure what the other ones are called. I know that one, there's a game hen, but there's great big chickens out there, like the red looking ones. I know what they are, but I don't know right off the bat. I can't really remember what they're called exactly. But got, let's see here, got one, two, got three game hens in here. Now they were just kind of sleepy, he was over here, now he won't ever go to sleep. It's thundering out right now, so we're probably going to get a storm here in just a minute, so. I might hurry up run back to the house, but I'll show you guys when the bigger African eats on my way there. But don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that stuff. But, for I'll show you guys a little bit of what we built in here. Yeah, I'm having some more biddies right there before here long, so. Got the light up here, of course. Runs through. Right there into an extension cord, which runs into the barn through the raptors, so. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll show you guys a fully growing goose of what he looks like. And that'll be it for this video. Now, there's a fully growing one. It's going in here sitting with this one. Now, it's a pair. That's how we're going to take turns. That's a... She's sitting on eggs, but right here's one of the African geese. That's what that goose in there looks like when it's fully grown. But I'll try to show you guys that. But like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll catch you guys in some future videos.